Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech where I want to get another mech warrior to replace Tank Girl in the hopes that we can, you know, actually pilot mechs. That would be handy. Um, reduces Argo upkeep by 5%. 5% chance for 1,000 C bills per day. 10% pilot upkeep. Also reduces Argo upkeep and upgrade cost by 5%. Fascinating. This guy looks like a really good option actually. He's not well trained. But he's pretty cheap, and those are some pretty good perks. We're going to grab him. New mech warriors available. Excellent. Now, we currently have bankruptcy projected, but that's okay. We are definitely going to deploy again, and this is a recovery mission. That's fine. This is a double salvage, so we'll just sit right there. Sounds perfect. Actually, we didn't check to see if this guy came with any base XP, did we? We probably should double check that just to be 100% certain. He does not. Okay, sounds good. So as I said, we'll be sitting right there for our salvage. And we're going to get rid of these mech warriors for right now. And we're going to put Vale in the Hornet, I think. Hotspur in the Assassin. And then we're going to pilot the Spectre ourselves, and then the and then Mallard will go in the Panther. That should be good. Now we're going against Steiner, I believe, so we should probably expect to have at least 30 Atlases against us. That uh, sounds like the kind of thing they would do. I mean, hopefully not. We actually can't deal with 30 atlases. One atlas we might be able to deal with. Especially if it's alone. If we can just take it out real quick, that might be really good for us. Get a situation like the Stalker in the uh, last series. For now, though, we need to seize the payroll and escape. We've located the secure facility where the planetary government stores its payroll before distributing it to the local forces. We believe we could put that payroll to better use. We'd like to hire you to hit the facility and steal the payroll. It'll be well defended, and there's a bonus if you eliminate all the defenders. Personally, I'm not above simple robbery to pay the bills, Commander. Indeed. Command and we do have some bills that we need to pay, so, uh... Even more heavily defended than we thought. Wonderful. We need to move up and get a look at the base so we can see what kind of firepower we're facing. Once we've grabbed the payroll, the Leopard will extract us at this LZ. Good hunting, Commander. Okay. We do have allies. I would love to deploy... Like, right here. And it would actually let us do that. Ready to go, Commander. This heat isn't gonna help anything. Okay. So our ally deployed back here. That's fine. We're going to make our way up and see if we can find a sensor trace. It's a whole lot of nothing. Okay. On the move. Roger that. I mean, we're not quite in range of the base yet. Our allies are going to be way back there. There's no doubt about that. Now we have a contact. Hitman moves up. Okay, now our allies are actually coming with as well. Hey there. So, where's that contact at? Here it is. We see a Sprint Scout helicopter. That's not very scary. I copy. We're going to move up. Yep. Something along the lines of this. Confirm. We do see an urban mech. Quad energy weapon, so that's probably the PPC variant is my guess. We'll move up with the Hornet. The Irby didn't fire. Okay. Okay. That sprint is closing in and fires on the Spectre, but it misses. Perfect. So far, this doesn't seem all that heavily defended, if I'm honest. Confirmed. Locking in all weapon systems. Ah, that was bad luck. I was hoping that we'd get a couple of laser hits there. 
with a 43% chance. That's okay. We'll just move up with the Spectre. This will be three evasive pips in cover. And this, hopefully, will be a kill. Ah, but we missed with almost everything. Okay, fair enough. The Hitman moves up, but does not fire, of course. The Assassin... It's going to make its way over to here, I think. Or maybe... It does have jump jets. Maybe we park it right here. Or right here? Yes, right here. For LOS purposes. Now, we don't expect too much out of that, obviously. And then the Panther makes its way up this direction. Roger. There we go. Fantastic. One dead helicopter. Vehicle down. Okay, these Davian units are not going to be amazingly useful. We're going to move up with the Spectre, but I don't want to take the position just yet. We now know that there's pretty much only the Irby over here, although it dropped off of the sensors. So there could be something else hidden out there. But I don't think there is. Need something, Chief? We're going to jump up here with the Panther, and then next turn we'll be able to jump up here. How's it going? The Assassin is simply going to jump over to Head here. Knowledge. Excellent. I don't expect these guys to do really anything. The Irby is going to close in. There's that PPC on the Hornet. The armor did hold, which is vaguely surprising. It was in that leg. Yeah, I suppose. What do you need? I want to come in directly behind this guy. Copy that. Just like this. I should have punched him. Or rather, kicked him. I absolutely should have kicked. Well, that's my own fault. The Hornet moves up, does a whole lot of nothing. We're going to move in with the Assassin. We could DFA this guy. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can get in range to actually do too much. We're just going to jump behind him for right now. And miss. Okay. Next round. Next round, we're going to be able to actually do something to him. Okay, four damage. Take it. Ready for I think we'll jump in to here with the Panther. Targeting for okay. Reasonable damage there. Receiving you. And then the Hornet is just going to dip down Double over time. here and hopefully not get shot at with the PPC, but he'll probably still shoot at the Hornet. Okay, the Spectre. Sounds good. Side arc. That's absolutely fine. Okay, Hornet's doing a whole lot of nothing. Yep. The Spectre... I do want to come in behind him. With a kick. On it. We missed the kick. Only had a 9% chance to miss that kick, too. That's okay. That's a lot of damage there. Hitman moves up. Isn't going to do anything. We actually can't get rear arc on this. For some reason we can't go here, and I'm not sure why. Because we can go here. Very strange. Regardless, we're just going to hit him on the side arc, I guess. Boop. And he ejected from that. Didn't expect him to eject, but fair enough. Yes, Commander. Now, I'm assuming there's going to be another group that spawns here. Surely there's going to be another group. Surely that's not it. That's it? Wait, that was more secured than we expected? I'm very confused.
I'm going to go with, but how is that more secured than expected? They had a Sprint Scout helicopter and an urban mech. And literally nothing else. Okay, we're going to grab that ER medium laser for sure. Maybe the Beagle Probe? His engine cores are pretty garbage. Double heatsink kit, though. And just grab one of these double heat sinks. Okay, seems good. I'd love to sell the Sprint Scout helicopters, but we can't for right now. Your medium, we're obviously not going to sell. The uh, small laser here, we're not going to sell. This armor, I think we'll sell that. The Beagle Probe, we'll keep that around for now. I think we'll sell both of those engine cores. I'm not too interested in them. Standard FCS. We'll keep the heat sinks for sure. Okay. I think that's pretty much what we've got. It's going to take what? Maybe... That was a PPC hit to the leg. Maybe 15k and... 6 days to repair? I have no idea what our tech points look like right now. <laughs> it's only 45 points of armor damage. I don't think anyone else took any damage. Oh, I was massively overestimating. That's always a good thing, though. So it's going to take one day to get both of those done. Which means that we could run another mission before this financial report. We don't have any mech warriors that are ready to go, though. Orders. So maybe we should hold off on that for right now. For training confirmed, Commander. Hey, confirmed. We can get a little bit of training done here. This should be fine. Hey, mech warrior training complete. Got some. And our mech warriors should be in the simulators right now, so that'll be Commander. fine. Assuming we finished the simulator. I actually can't remember. Yep. Absolutely grab that point of gunnery. Oh, you're wounded? Awkward. <laughs> Mech warrior training. Awkward indeed. Yeah, I think we're just going to tick forward a couple of days here. This is going to take the financial report. I don't like it, but... Ready to go over financials whenever you are. That'll have to be fine. Yeah, we're going to have bankruptcy projected. That's absolutely fine. We have a long time before our next upgrade. Laying wagers, huh? We're going to debate the odds. Morale decreased by 10, but Varingian is in high spirits. Okay. People are not happy. That's awkward. <laughs> okay. So we now have some mech warriors back. We should probably deploy again if we can. It's a relatively simple battle in theory. Who's the op for? Davian? Two hundred and eighty two K four seventeen. Okay, that's mediocre on the salvage in terms of efficiency. So it's this. Solo duel. Yeah, I'll pass on that. I think we're just going to run this one quick, and we'll run this straight down the middle. We will bring Adrenaline in the Spectre and Phantom in the Hornet. Okay. Let's see if we can just get this done nice and quick. Hopefully. Hopefully we can. We'll see how quickly it goes, but uh, in before we're fighting three lances for some reason. Because that seems to be how this particular playthrough is panning out. And man, evacing right now would be really rough. So we need to destroy Davian units. Commander, we're trying to safely transport injured personnel to one of our facilities on Epsilon Eridani. Unfortunately, satellite surveillance has shown Davian units operating in the region we're expecting to move our medical convoy through. We need a mercenary lance to sweep the area and eliminate any Davian units. 
Please sink this contract as a mission of mercy. I don't believe that mission of mercy line for a second, but there isn't anything here to be concerned about. Okay, so the Davian units are in this area. Where exactly? This map is awkward. Okay. Can we maybe deploy here? Too close to enemy position. I guess here. That's too close to enemy position. Suggested deploy point? It is. Okay, so we don't have any allies. And we're just going to need to make our way up over this way. This happens sometimes. Right after deployment, it doesn't actually populate all of these nav points. Okay, so we see a Sprint Scout helicopter. Okay. That's not very threatening so far. We could definitely use the cash from a milk run. Where's the helicopter going to go? It's going to back off. We see a commando and a hunter light support tank. Okay. There may be a fourth unit out there. SRM-6. Fine. It didn't hit, so we're good. We're going to bring the Hornet up and over this direction. Into this cover. And we're going to pot shot this sprint. Ah, uh, yeah. Didn't work. That's okay. Now, the assassin... We're just going to walk in here and boop this guy from this angle with a kick. That's a nice boop. That was very nice, actually. That commando, not doing so hot. Okay, the Spectre is going to also make its way forward here. Now, it's not in LOS of the commando, and that's fine, because I want this Sprint Scout helicopter dead, ideally. Ah. Unfortunate rolls. I mean, we only had a 21% chance, but that's fine. This Hunter Light support tank... Oh, there's a ferret out there, too. Noted. Oh no, two damage to the assassin. Damages light. Whatever are we going to do? What's up, boss? You are just going to step forward over this way for right now. On my way. And I want you to attack this helicopter again, unless you have better hit odds. And I think the helicopter is still best. <laughs> yep. Negative damage. Okay. We'll see what these guys decide to do. The sprint is going to move now. We haven't managed to do much to it. This commando, his energy weapon is down. Interesting choice. It has no evasive pips. Fascinating. Targeting for physical attack. Okay. So this commando is definitely hurting at this point. And the game briefly stopped responding. Hopefully it comes back. There we go. And it decided to turn the camera on us. Something like that, I think. Yeah, that commando has very little left in those legs. The ferret's going to move up. We're attacking the specter, but actually not doing anything. I'm fine with this. Receiving you. Here's the idea. Specter moves here. Lights up this commando. Rear arc kills it. Or at least destroys the SRM ammo, I suppose. It has no weapons other than melee Confirm. left. Okay. Then, the Hornet is actually going to maybe just stay put 
and hit this ferret. Yeah, there we go. One ferret down. Next up is the sprint. The commando backs off and doesn't do anything. Okay. We're going to move up. And we're going to shoot at this sprint. Two down. Okay, the hunter moves up, fires on the specter. A very small amount of damage there. This is fine. Standing by. The specter is just going to step behind the commando here. Moving to position. And this is a dead commando, guaranteed. Piece of cake. Skipper. The hornet's going to move up and pot Not shot there. this this uh, hunter. No, I was going to say ferret, but that's a hunter. Okay, 20 damage. We'll take it. The panther is going to do exactly the same. In all 44 plus 16, 60 damage. Stand I like by. it. Next, we're going to move in with the assassin, and we are just going to kick this guy. Step on him. Very nice. Okay, we'll see how it responds. Enemy flanking. Rear attacking the assassin, but it actually did zero damage there. Okay. It unjammed his machine gun. That's nice for it. Ready to rock. We're going to move in with our hornet. We're not going to melee with it, but we're just going to move in and shoot. There we go. Now the assassin is going to melee again. I believe this is strong side. But well, that's okay. Let's do this. Okay, that was a little unfortunate. But we hit with the melee attack, which was what matters. We're going to come in with our panther and check our hit odds here. Okay, pretty unlikely to stray shot unless it's a stray SRM. Okay, we're good. Ready for now we're going to come in with our Spectre strong side here, or rather weak side. We're going to kick and fire all of our lasers. Heading out. Boop. There we go. Excellent. Let's get out of here. Well, that was another very, very easy mission. That's very good for us, so we needed to build up some money. So hopefully we get some halfway decent salvage out of that, but those weren't very particularly difficult opponents, so we're not going to get the greatest of salvage either. Um, I think we'll grab that ER medium for sure. And perhaps this engine core 175. There we go. What do we got for tags? Zero? Zero? Okay. We'll just sell that FCS standard there, and everything else we'll keep around for now. Wonderful. And we'll probably start scrapping some of these very, very small vehicle parts. I did see in the mech bay that you have separate mech and vehicle bays, so that's interesting. That gives you a lot more potential tactical flexibility. Potentially bringing things like having the thumpers mounted on tanks... That would be an option. Like, any sort of fire support could theoretically be a mix of tanks and mechs, depending on what hard points you get. Yep, go ahead and repair that. We're going to tick forward the one day that that takes. Oh, it's still ticking. Okay. <laughs> we don't want it to still be ticking. So, other than that, I think we're pretty much good to go. But yeah, this is what I was talking about here. This button allows you to switch between mech bays and vehicle bays. So that's interesting. That said, there are some vehicles in here that we uh, probably don't want. Like the Ferret Scout VTOL. We can scrap all that for some quick cash. Sprint Scout Helicopter? Again, I'm not interested. Get rid of it. Pegasus? Um, what's the tonnage on this thing? 
35? Yeah, I don't, I doubt it. But uh, we're definitely going to get rid of any helicopters. Not interested in helicopters. But for now, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.